The first product on our list is Motorola MB7621. The Motorola MB7621 features built-in surge protection as well as 24 downstream channels supporting up to 650 megabits per second, more than enough for most residential plans. It works with nearly any service provider under the sun, in case you decide to switch. This product is available on Amazon for $78. There are 1744 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.4 stars. A customer said. This cable modem is a beast in a good way. A little over seven years ago, I bought the Motorola SB6120 to replace the crummy cable modem that Comcast charged me monthly to use. I had no problems with the SB6120, but got an email from Xfinity saying I needed to upgrade my equipment. I guess because they have increased the speed on my service and the SB6120 is so old it may not be supported with updates from Motorola. Okay, I paid $75 for the SB6120 and it probably saved me over $750 in monthly rental for 7 plus years. Decide first. Another happy customer said. I have Xfinity Performance Pro which is rated for 150 MB, S down and 5 MB, S up. I've been using the Aris SB6141 modem which is 8 channel down X4 channel up. Great modem, no issues but its speed maxed out at 120 MB, S down and 5 MB, S up. I figured what the heck might as well get the speed I'm paying for, so I purchased the Motorola SB7621 which is 24 channel down X8 channel up. Internet speed is now 180 MB, S down and 6 MB, S up with a ping of 19 milliseconds. I am happy that I am now getting. The second product is Netgear CM600 The Netgear CM600 is a mid-range unit with hardware capable of pulling as much as 300 megabits per second from your provider. It's relatively easy to activate through an online portal, allowing you to get up and running in almost no time at all. The price approximately $90. The average rating of this product is 4.3 stars with more than 14,397 customer reviews. A customer said. We have Comcast. This modem is supported by Comcast and it's super easy to set up. It took less than 10 minutes. If you have Comcast there are specific instructions to set it up. Very easy. The modem works so far. Our internet speeds are where they are supposed to be. Stop renting your modem and buy it. As for technical stuff I have no idea what any of it is without googling something. I paired it with a Linksys EA7300 wireless router and am now enjoying way better connectivity. Another happy customer said. The Netgear CM600 cable modem is an ultimately reliable Doxus 3.0 cable modem for service speeds up to 300 megabits sec or faster. Unlike the company's CM700 model, it does not incorporate the troublesome Intel Puma 6 chipset found in many higher-end cable modems, making it a more reliable choice. There may be a downside for some, having little to do with the CM600. When accessing the CM600 interface, it is noted that all firmware upgrades can only be provided by the ISP, in my case, Spectrum. Whether Spectrum will upgrade said firmware, when and if necessary, is questionable, though it would. The next one is. Aris Surfboard 8200. The Doxus 3.1 compatible Aris Surfboard 8200 is the ideal choice to future-proof your connectivity and keep your home or workplace at peak performance. It's only a matter of time before this cutting edge. Blazing Fast Unit ends up on Spectrum's official support list. This product is available on Amazon for $159. There are 1013 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.3 stars. A customer said. Installed this beauty over the weekend replacing the new Linksys flagship AC1900 with the Puma chipset. I have heard about the Puma chipset being problematic and I can confirm that firsthand. The Aris has the new Broadcom chipset, now I'm Broadcom chipset fan. This modem is significantly smaller than your traditional modem but packs some power. The photos below show the standard size modem sitting next to the new surfboard. 
We have Spectrum 320ths and I'm getting 290 wirelessly using three VELOP nodes and the signal has not dropped a single time. This one should be good for the long. The next product is TP-Link TC7650. The TP-Link TC7650 is a highly capable piece of equipment, with 24 downstream channels that can theoretically handle a gigabit of bandwidth, which is more than enough for residential users. This company stands apart with its effective and easy-to-use management software. The price approximately $59. There are 18 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.3 stars, a customer said. I recently upgraded my plan to 400 Mbps. Even though my internet speed test was showing 470 Mbps consistently, Xfinity kept sending me notices that I needed to upgrade my 2 years old TC7620 modem. When I began looking for the TC7650, I was surprised that no one was selling TC7650 new. I did see this refurbished model and went ahead and bought it. It came in a brown paper tray. Close examination showed no physical signs of wear and tear. Things went downhill with Xfinity activation. I tried online activation but it did not work. Then I called. Another happy customer said. The device itself is nice looking and does not have any annoying flashing lights when running under normal operation, no flashing activity light. The firmware is very basic but gives you a bit less info than my old Motorola 8x4 modem which is the only reason I removed a star. I had my ISP increase my speed and so they suggest updating to a 16x4 modem minimum and this is 24x8 which is nice but when I got it activated it only connected at 9x4. I chatted with TP-Link tech support and they told me that this was controlled by. The number 5. Motorola MB8600. The Motorola MB8600 will let you take advantage of the fastest plans for years to come while getting the most from your current one right now. Its DOCSIS 3.1 compatibility ensures that it won't go obsolete through the next generation of gigabit internet. The price is around $170. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.4 stars from 2,139 customer reviews, a customer said. I recently upgraded my Cox Internet from the Premier 150 megabits to the Ultimate 300 megabits option. The Ultimate Internet can have speeds around 300 megabits down and 30 megabits up. With the upgrade, Cox incorrectly sent me a DOCSIS 3.0 modem with a $10 monthly rental fee. With it I only got speeds up to 170 megabits down. Then I checked on Amazon and there was a $10 off special on this Motorola DOCSIS 3.1 modem. I purchased and received it in a couple of days. After I received it, I called Cox to switch the modem, gave them the model number and Mac. Another happy customer said. The Xfinity compatible modem was super easy to set up following the quick start guide included in the box. Word of advice for Comcast Xfinity subscribers, when stepping through the setup wizard, selecting the option to text an activation code as a joke, the code is only good for 15 minutes but I didn't receive the text until 30 minutes had passed, just stick with your Xfinity account name for the activation and provisioning. Xfinity upgraded to DOCSIS 3.1, and, while my own 6-year-old trusty Motorola Surfboard SB6580 was working fine, Xfinity found every reason to pester. The next product is. Netgear CM1000. The Netgear CM1000 is built to take advantage of the DOCSIS 3.1 standard, an upgrade to the older 3.0 technology, and it runs up to 10 times faster than its predecessor. While it may not yet be advertised as such, it was recently approved for many of the upper tier plans. This product is available on Amazon for $160. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 14,397 customer reviews, a customer said. We have Comcast, this modem is supported by Comcast and it's super easy to set up. It took less than 10 minutes. If you have Comcast there are specific instructions to set it up. 
Very easy. The modem works so far. Our internet speeds are where they are supposed to be. Stop renting your modem and buy it. As for technical stuff I have no idea what any of it is without googling something. I paired it with a Linksys EA7300 wireless router and am now enjoying way better connectivity. Another happy customer said. The Netgear CM600 cable modem is an ultimately reliable DOCSIS 3.0 cable modem for service speeds up to 300 megabits sec or faster. Unlike the company's CM700 model, it does not incorporate the troublesome Intel Puma 6 chipset found in many higher-end cable modems, making it a more reliable choice. There may be a downside for some, having little to do with the CM600. When accessing the CM600 interface, it is noted that all firmware upgrades can only be provided by the ISP, in my case, Spectrum. Whether Spectrum will upgrade said firmware, when and if necessary, is questionable, though it would. The next product in our list is Netgear CM500. One of the lowest priced, the Netgear CM500 should take care of many users' needs for the next couple of years. It works flawlessly with almost all cable companies and can maximize plans rated at up to 200 megabits per second. The price approximately $60. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 14,397 customer reviews. A customer said. We have Comcast. This modem is supported by Comcast and it's super easy to set up. It took less than 10 minutes. If you have Comcast there are specific instructions to set it up. Very easy. The modem works so far. Our internet speeds are where they are supposed to be. Stop renting your modem and buy it. As for technical stuff I have no idea what any of it is without googling something. I paired it with a Linksys EA7300 wireless router and am now enjoying way better connectivity. Another happy customer said. The Netgear CM600 cable modem is an ultimately reliable DOCSIS 3.0 cable modem for service speeds up to 300 megabits sec or faster. Unlike the company's CM700 model, it does not incorporate the troublesome Intel Puma 6 chipset found in many higher-end cable modems, making it a more reliable choice. There may be a downside for some, having little to do with the CM600. When accessing the CM600 interface, it is noted that all firmware upgrades can only be provided by the ISP, in my case, Spectrum. Whether Spectrum will upgrade said firmware, when and if necessary, is questionable, though it would. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.